Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Landon. My brother Luke asked me to do something called My Best Three Minutes, and he was like, what's something that's on your heart, on your mind? I've been thinking a lot about uh, the Bible as a literary work and how we approach it or don't approach it as a literary work. Like, I'm a big Lord of the Rings fan. I don't know if you are like a Lord of the Rings person, but um, I would love to read Lord of the Rings with J.R.R. Tolkien. Like, how amazing would it be if you were reading like The Hobbit or like The Two Towers and J.R.R. Tolkien walked in and was like, all right, chap, yeah, I'm gonna help you understand what, we, what, what, what I was writing. I mean, I don't think he sounded that British. That was kind of South London, so, but either way. Uh, I had to read Shakespeare in high school, like I'm sure a lot of you guys did. I, I was not a fan. It was kind of like the Mona Lisa to me. It's like, I get why it's famous, but it didn't personally like resonate a lot with me. But I would have really appreciated it when I was in school studying for the test if Shakespeare himself would have walked in the room and sat across from me and helped me understand Macbeth, you know? When we read the Bible, the author of the Bible is present with us as we read. It's a doctrine called illumination. The idea is that when you are reading the Bible, the Holy Spirit is with you as you read, helping you, guiding you, leading you, highlighting things in your mind, circling things, convicting you, ooh, wow, you're, that, that verse is not true in your life, or look at what God says about you, think about what you say about yourself. And I wonder sometimes if we read the Bible through an intellectual lens only, if we get trained through years of Bible study and Bible memorization kids programs to think of the Bible as an exclusively intellectual book, and it is an intellectual book, it's long, it's dense, it's complicated, that's great, but it's not primarily intellectual, it's primarily spiritual. What would happen when you read the Bible if when you sat down you thought, the author is with me. What would happen if you leaned in and believed the author of this book is illuminating the text, convicting my heart, showing me what is right, showing me how to live, highlighting portions that I should meditate on, showing me things that I should text to friends? What would happen if it wasn't an intellectual thing, like I gotta read this verse today for my Bible reading plan, or I've gotta understand the book of Amos because I just am supposed to because I'm a Christian. What if when you sat down, you leaned in and you literally opened it and said, the author is with me? And as you were reading, if you didn't understand something, instead of immediately jumping to a commentary or texting your pastor or going online and all those things are great, what if you prayed, Holy Spirit, show me what this means? Because you didn't view it as reading by yourself, you viewed it as the author reading with you. What would happen in your personal Bible time if you believed that to be as true as it is? That's what's been on my heart lately. I hope that that has blessed you. Thank you for the opportunity.